Side on me. Uh, yeah. I run a broadcast for young men. Nice. Um, what's it about? Marriage style, fashion, fragrances. Have you ever been married? I am married. Oh, you're married right now? Yep. That's cool. Have you ever been married? No, but I'm with a man who was married and is and just got finalized and just finalized his divorce. Were you with him before the divorce? Before it was finalized, yeah. Girl, what are you doing? Loving. Oh, when do you plan on marrying this man then? Whenever he asks me. How long y'all been together? Uh, like ten months. And his divorce just finalized. Like how long ago? Like this week. When did the divorce first get filed? A year ago. Girl, how did you meet a man who was recently divorced that fast? He got divorced and was already seeing you two months later? Yeah. You don't question that at all? No. Why? Did he have kids? Love is love. Yeah. How old are you, young lady? 23. How old is he? 27. You, uh, do you know how much he makes a year? Probably around like 40,000. How many kids again? Two. Do you work? Yeah. 40 hours a week? Yeah. Minimum wage or higher? Higher. Did it require a college degree? No. Mm, you're at home at night, so I'm serving nothing in nursing. Is it a day job? I'm a caregiver for mentally disabled. Oh, yeah. Young lady, young lady. Who, uh, how long was your relationship before this male? Two years. Why didn't y'all get married? T, stop. Hold on. Just a second. I'm going. T, stop. You got your dog going. Um, so the relationship I was in in the past, right before this, was with a 40-year-old man. Okay. How much did he make a year? And I don't know. He was a bartender. Uh, you say you want to have this conversation, so you're here. You know, I, yeah, I, I you here. know, I talk about marriage and relationships. Uh, that's a lot of my broadcasts. Uh, Maybe that's why we're here together, ma'am. Getting with a man before he was divorced shows me that he may have already had some, maybe some things going on in his life. Like, so, what even made y'all meet? His mom was my manager. I knew his mom for two years before I ever met him. And he became, he said, I'm getting a divorce. And two months later, how did y'all come across each other? His mom just introduced us. Like, we all kind of just started hanging out, like, having barbecues, bonfires. Like, it was summertime, like, and we were neighbors. And I just, like, we were all just drinking, hanging out. And, like, we were best friends. And he was just, like, I don't think he planned to be into me. Like, he just was. Like, it just, like, we were best friends, but we just clicked so good, you know? Y'all were best friends for two months? Well, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Were y'all best friends before he got filed divorce? Well, no. Yeah, we were kind of best friends. I mean, not best friends, but we were, like, becoming best friends. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so he already started. Okay, uh, another question. Uh, have y'all talked about marriage? Not seriously. What What is that? Has it been brought up? I have, probably. But, like, obviously, like, jokingly, because he's never been, like, un up until, like, four days ago, he's been married, technically. So, let me ask you a question. How long would you wait before you were like, okay, so this is too long? Probably, like, two years or three years. Why? Why two years, ma'am? Because, well, just in this circumstance, probably. Mo more so because, like... I don't want him to, like, be scared to recommit. Like, obviously, it takes a lot to go go from one marriage to another. Like, you can't just do that, like, mentally, you know. That takes a, you know, that takes a toll on somebody. He hopped right into a committed relationship. Yeah. Uh, that didn't take a toll on him. He, he immediately was able to get with you. And I'm sure y'all are intimate with each other. So he was able to hop from another woman two months later after being with a woman for however long. He's able to be intimate with you. He's able to be with you. Do you all live together? Yeah, but but words, word has it that him and his wife weren't intimate for a long time. He told you that? Did he tell you that? Okay. So he told you that they haven't been intimate for a while. <clears throat> because she cheated on him. Okay. So, so I'm still sure, ma'am, I'm sure even in marriages that are going tough, every man's got to scratch that itch. Somehow, some way, he's getting a scratch. Okay? I'm sure he wasn't celibate that whole time. But, nonetheless, it gets the relationship. Well, here's, the, here's the thing is, he's not really that sexual of a person. He's not. Like, believe it or not, like, I know you think all men are nasty pigs. They're not. And he's not. I'm a man's advocate. Why would you say something like that? You think I think that men are nasty pigs? Well, you think that he can't be celibate. Ma'am, so you know what the word celibate means? Not having sex for a while. No. Celibate means no sexual interaction, period. That means touching himself. That means interacting with any women. He's not doing anything sexually interactive at all. Oh, I didn't know it meant no masturbation. Yeah, I'm, yes, I'm sure he was doing that. He's, well, he's, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, too. then I'm so, so he's scratching that itch. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, okay. I thought you meant I thought you meant he was finding someone else to sleep with. No. Okay, okay. So he hops into that from going to a woman from himself to you. He got two kids. Do y'all live together? His, they share custody. Okay. Do y'all live together? Oh yeah, me and him. Yeah. So, he was able to... And how long y'all been living together? Not that long. How many months? Couple, like two. Two months. So, two months after the and I And I only did it to save money. money because I was paying way too much in rent for, a, for an apartment that didn't even have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to get a timeline, ma'am. So, from the two months... He was with nobody, but y'all are best friends. <clears throat> and then y'all got together. Ten months. Y'all were dating. And then eight months after that, y'all moved in together. So does this sound like a man who is afraid, not afraid to hop back into the waters? Mm. You're So you're afraid to have the conversation with this man because you're afraid he's going to say, I'm not ready to commit? Yeah. So, may I ask, how long do you expect to wait to have that conversation? Well, he says he doesn't ever want to get married again. Then why are you with him? You said you wanted to be married and you got with a man who does not want to be married. Ma'am, that ends in disaster. Well, I don't have to be married to be committed to one person. Ma'am, but you said you wanted to be married. Well, it, marriage can be in the heart. It doesn't have to be on paper. If that's the case, then he could easily just say, 
I would get married again because it's in my heart. But he ain't walking down to no court room, right? He ain't taking no last names. You're not part of well, his family. You know, I, You're just a woman in his life. You're a girlfriend. Whatever. See, ma'am, and I'm not trying to say this to you as this is person, okay? Just talking to you, the audience. <clears throat> this notion that marriage is just simple and um, it's just a piece of paper, it's in our hearts. If that was true, ma'am, then he wouldn't say what he said. But he knows marriage is much more than just in your heart, right? Because if he's so against it, then that means he doesn't even want it to be in his heart, right? So he don't want to be married even in his heart, right? I guess, but maybe he didn't take it like that. So y'all talked and he said, well, we could be married in our hearts. No, I never, no, 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 nothing like that. All I've ever done is like jokingly brought it up like, oh, when are we going to get married? And then laughed it off in no response. Like it's never been like an actual conversation where I can be like, Oh, we can be married, but we don't have to go down to the courthouse. Oh, we can get married. It's There's never actually been a fucking conversation. Yes, ma'am. But, you see, my, like, you're making my point. If a man was even jokingly to say that, you were joking. When we get married, a man be like, oh, well, maybe this time, maybe that time. Or he would even say what you say. Be like, well, we don't have to go down to the courthouse to get married. He would have even, because men are logical. He would have said that to you. He wouldn't have laughed it off. He would have been like, well, I mean, we don't have to go down to the courthouse. But he didn't say that. He probably laughed. You laughed. You giggled. Conversation was over. That was the end of the conversation, right? Y'all didn't go no further yeah. past a couple laughs. So, yeah. you say marriage is in your heart, but he doesn't believe that. Right. So, what do you mean? You you want to be married, but you can't be married in your heart if he doesn't want to be married in his heart. You'll be That doesn't make any sense, right? So, madam, why... Are you doing this to yourself? Are you feeling like you can't find someone else? Or you feel like this is the end of the road? Or are you lying to yourself by saying, and I'm just asking, you lying to yourself by saying, I we do it in my heart because you know he will never marry you. I really don't know. That's fair. Well, <clears throat> ma'am. All I know is that I love him and that if he asked me to marry him, I'd say yes. Well, he ain't going to do that. He just flat out just told you he never wants to get married. So most men, they, they make up their mind. There ain't going to be nothing you can do, nothing you can say that's going to make him change his mind. He's already got two kids. And if he did think about marrying you, it'd probably be after they were older because he shares custody with the wife. So he probably does not want to have a stepmother. And he don't want his kids to have a stepmother, right? Well, they're already in my life. Right. They're in your life. But she, they're sharing custody. It is a difference to be a stepmother, meaning you're married to the father. You're not. You'll just be a girlfriend that he dates. That's all you'll be to those children. You know that, right? You'll never be their stepmother. You'll be, oh, that's that's my father's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, I'm just speaking from this. I've worked in these fields for a long time. I know how the kids go about this. Unless y'all are married, they're just, you're just going to be that to them. Right. So, ma'am, what well, makes you even, feel well, like he... If we are, I think I'm nothing still. All right. Ma'am, what makes you think that he's going to stay with you? He says he will. And that's it? Well, he shows he wants to. He takes care of me. You've been together 10 months? Yeah. Been together two? So, mm -hmm. how does this end? So, let's say 10 years down the road, you're going to be perfectly fine. Should he not marry you, ma'am? And I'm just going to be flat out honest with you. And if I was talking to him, I'd tell him to his face because I tell men this all the time. If he says he's not going to marry you, ma'am, there's a very small chance he's going to be in a long-term relationship with you. Meaning, well, well, there's no way it's going to get more than likely past five years. So what do I do? Break up with him now? If you want to be married, yes. You say you want to be married in your heart. I know you think it's just a piece of paper, but it sounds like it means something to you. Are you afraid to be alone? I mean, what's the problem here? I think so. Nobody wants to be alone. I'm already lonely. Ma'am, you're 23? Yeah. You've got, you've got some time to go find a man who wants to be married. There are plenty of men. And you, I'm assuming you don't... You said he makes 40000 so you're not looking for a man who's making six figures. You're looking for the average making money man. Technically, 
because he has two kids, he'd be making just a little bit below average because he has a household. But nonetheless, that shows me you can go find somebody else who's not making that much money and be perfectly content. Money isn't the key to happiness. That, that, my point is, is that you should be able to find another man because you're not looking for the top 10%. So it's not like it's scarce out there for you. You're an attractive woman. I believe you can get out there and go find a suitable man that wants to get married because man, this only is going to end bad for you. It may not, it's not hitting you yet, but that resentment is going to build up. And I know you say love is love. Ma'am, love is not what keeps relationships together. Duty and commitment How keeps long people together. were you and your wife together before you got married? We were together only six months. Before you got married? Yeah. But we knew pretty how early have, on. How long have you been married? Four years. Really? Yeah. We got early pretty... Because I was already marriage-minded, right? When we got together, we already knew that's where it was heading. So those six months was just seeing, hey, what do you believe? Oh, this is what I believe. Let's do this. Let's do that. Six months, I already knew, made up in my mind. Most men do. Most men know within six months that they want to marry you. Just like that. Yeah. And it's already been 10 months for you, so you already know that time's pretty much gone. Don't make me cry, dude. I'm not here to make you cry, ma'am. I'm here to make your life better. Okay? You're 23. You want to be married. And you know, and you know what's sad? What ends up happening? Is you get this far ahead... And the next thing you know, it's been five years. You're 28 years old now. And then he leaves. And guess what? Your time starts ticking. And what are you, you going to do? Now you're 28 years old. Now, you, now your pond has gotten smaller for men. Because the men you might want are getting married off. Because married, like I told you, wow. marriage-minded men, they get married. So now you're going to have to look for a guy either who wants to get married at that age or you're going to start looking for a man who makes more money. And then if you start, if it ever clicks in your head that you want a man who's making more money. Oh, your, your, your options about to get real slim. Cause now you're 28 and most men aren't going to date women who are 28, 29 who have means because they want to build a family. And now you got no kids. You're 28 and nothing's going on. And my eggs are dying. Yes. Once you get to, well, you got till 35 before high risk pregnancy. So you got a while, but you're wasting time right now with a man who probably doesn't want to have kids, right? Does he want to have kids with you? I don't know. I think I asked him. Are y'all using contraceptives? Y'all aren't? Okay. So he's perfectly fine. If you get pregnant, he's going to move on life with you and he's not going to marry you. So you're going to have a child out of wedlock. Sometimes maybe people just talk out of their ass. Maybe he didn't mean it. I mean, he's not using contraceptives, so now it, there's a chance. So if you do get pregnant, and he decides, uh, look, <laughs> we cool, but it's not going to work. <laughs> but it, cool. what, if he says that, guess what? Because think about this, man. He has two kids of his own. Right? I'm not going to be no single mom. No, no. <laughs> Ma'am, you don't, you don't have that choice. You're already having intimacy with no contraceptives. I'm not saying I he's going to leave you. Question. All I'm saying is simply that your kid your kid that's yours and y'all have together. His kid, your kid. That kid growing up with those stepchildren, guess what they're getting? They're getting stuff from daddy and they're getting stuff from mama. Right? And they're getting stuff from you because you work. Right? So they're getting stuff from daddy. They're getting stuff from you. And they're getting stuff from their mother. Your kid is only getting stuff from you and his father, which is the guy you're with now. So those kids are already getting more than your kid is already getting because they have three sources of money now. You're going to have to split your money that you would be using for just your child to also feed these two kids because you say you want to be a stepmother to them. So resources are you're not even getting full money into your own kid. You have to split those resources into three for kids that are already getting resources from three different people. That's what I'm talking about. Your step your kid is going to be like, what the fuck? Well, like my mommy don't even have that much money for me. I get a happy meal, but they get happy meals, and then they go to their mama's house and get happy meals. Damn. They get Christmas gifts all over the place, but your kid gets half. Half of all that. I need a bong rip about it. So you gotta stay, man. I'm trying to look out for you. 
I know how this story no, and, ends. And, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it brings light to like the picture, but it really also just brings up the fact that I need to have a lot of conversations with somebody that I'm like in love with because I don't want to lose them. So we'll need to make sure we're on the same page before I get all depressed about it. Well, the first question is, are you going to marry me? And if he says no... Me, me. That's it. Conversation <laughs> over. You say, I love you, God but I want to be married. You don't. Hey, we had a good run. Ma'am, because you're trying to avoid heartbreak, you're going to be really fucked if he breaks up with you in five years. You're going to be even more devastated. Dude, I'm going to literally probably want to, like, off myself. The fact that you even say that makes you think you need to get out. Because cause it could happen. No, I literally would because, like, yeah. I don't... Like, if I spent that much more time with somebody, I couldn't, like, li I couldn't imagine living without them. Okay, so... Why aren't you running that through your head then? Why aren't you going, uh, in five years, he doesn't want to marry me. He could just leave. Because if he if he was married to you, it'd be a much difficult, more strenuous process as you've already seen with him. But if he wants to go, ah, I'm cutting you off. I'm out. I'm going to go back to well, my ex-wife. Well, that's not an option anymore. What, going back to his ex-wife? Yeah, because he got a divorce. Ma'am, I've seen divorced men get back with ex-wives. Yeah, but he's not going to. See, and that's the problem. You think it can happen, and it does. No, I think it can, but I know that Just because the man got cheated on don't mean... See, just because the man got cheated on, men men will get over it. Hey, hey, I gave it to her. 